Hello everyone. Today I have another example of real-world applications of calculus with a special focus on function. The example that I'm going to discuss is related to tumor growth. And as you can see in here, this equation was proposed in 1960 by Bertinal Fee to mathematically describe the, the actually the, the size growth in animals. And then researchers have used it for like the tumor growth. Actually, this is not that much common equation, but it has shown a good like approximation of tumor growth in some research. And the equation, the differential equations that he has proposed is dv over dt equals to nv to the power of 2 over 3 minus mv. The aim of this uh, lecture is not discussing this differential equations in detail. I will have another uh, video series on differential equations, how we can solve this type of differential equations and what is differential equations in general. Furthermore, uh, we will have another video series on the joy of mathematics and we will discuss the details of this equation in that video series. The aim in here is to show the solution of this equation proposed by Bertrand V is a function. And basically, as you can see in the equation, the differential equation, V is the volume of the tumor, N and M is proportionality constants. And Bertrand V in 1960s developed the differential equations as you can see there, and then found the solution as in here. And the, the, the solution as you can see is a function of time and we have two constants like n and m and another constant c which is coming from the solution of this differential equations and from here using this function we can estimate how this tumor in the body of someone uh, can change its size after a while and after like five years this equation actually another form of solution has been developed for that equation as you can see in here v equals to b1 uh, cubed times 1 minus b2 exponential function of minus b3t all in power of 3 and again as you can see in here we have the constant of b13 we have the constant of the b2 and we have constant of minus b3 all of this constants are actually developed based on the data that they have for a, a special like for a specific patient and from there they would have this equation at the end and this would give them like the uh, the growth of the tumor after like a while uh, as you can see in here from a differential equation which is related to a biological applications and basically tumor they could obtain a, a form of functions which can give us whatever we need in terms of tumor expansion or tumor shrinking thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on the applications of a function and we will make this course as much as exciting that we can thank you again and please subscribe our channel